guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 20 or less FIFA 14. We sold on a few players on our transfer list and we're going to relist the remaining items we had from, I guess, from the packs we opened in the past episodes and some of our older squads. And uh, then it was time to build a new squad. I was going to build a silver squad instead of the 4-4-2 side we've been playing with. So uh, I sent all the skillers to the club as usual and uh, listed up the different players that were non-skillers. And then went on to change the formation into a 4-3-3. And I already had a few of the skillers uh, for my silver skill squad. Uh, we're going to try out Kelvin, which we didn't really play with that much in the squad. We kind of built in one episode and sold on in the next one. So I wanted to get him into the side. And we get a few players from the Saudi Arabian League as well. Uh, I wanted to try out the Saudi Arabian 5-star skiller, uh, al Faradi there. Uh, of Raidi, who will play, um, who will play on the center mid, and we get Claudemir as well. He got some really good stats on him, and he'll link nicely up with uh, with Kelvin and also Bayano, who will get as a right back, and they will also get uh, a quite solid defense, in my opinion, uh, from uh, the Belgian league, pro league, and uh, it is uh, Emboji Kara, I believe. And I think uh, when you picked him up last year, he he just went with the name of Kara, and they changed the name on the card this year basically uh, and then finally we get the very tall Van Hoyt uh, as our goalkeeper and we sold on a few players we listed up and finally we pick up a position modifier for our Saudi Arabian uh, 5 star skiller so this is going to be the squad not exactly the best keeper silver keeper you can find but he's extremely tall it's ridiculous I believe he's yeah, 6 feet 10 tall. It is insane. So we'll see how he performs in the net and uh, maybe he'll pull off some nice saves. Then we got a very strong center back combination in, in Boji Kara and um, and the Frenchman uh, Koulibaly. And they're both big, strong and fast and they seem to be very, very solid on the center back spots. On the right back we have Bayano. Um, he got some decent stats. He's not really outstanding but he's mainly there for the chemistry. And on the left back, we got, got Al Sharani. He's really, really quick. Got some good passing and dribbling on him for a 69 rated player. And uh, we'll see how he does there on the left back spot. Then we got Al Faridi, the five star skiller from the uh, Saudi Arabian League. He does not really have any outstanding stats, but we're trying him out to see how he plays. On the right center mid, we got Claudemir, high defensive work rate. He's quite quick. He got good defensive stats, and his free kick stats are just ridiculous. Uh, they're just insane. I got really surprised about that. Then we do have Marais on the center attack mid with the five star skills. Left wing Alabet, 87 pace, 72 dribbling, and 72 shooting. Again, some really good stats for a 69 rated player. He got four star skills as well, so it looks to be an interesting player to try out. Right wing, we do have Kelvin to cut inside and shoot with the left foot, and hopefully, we can score some cool goals with him. And finally, we do have Wallison on the top. We could also have gone with Jobson, uh, but then uh, Murais wouldn't have gotten perfect chemistry and would have to change the midfield a little bit. So I decided to go with uh, Wallison in the end. But uh, before we play with the squad, we're heading on into the MLS kickoff tournament just to get the fitness up of the newly built squad. And we come up against a 3 5 2 squad. And uh, he had Jimmy Nielsen in the net, the Danish goalkeeper. And I did think about picking him up as a goalkeeper as well when I built the squad. And he was going to play a very good game against me. The first chance I had was an offside where I hit my own player. And the player I hit uh, in that offside position was Ty, but who missed the chance there one-on-one. -on -one, and we get another chance. And I really thought this was a penalty. It is a tough call, though. But when you look at where he's tackled, I'm inside the box. And in some way, I would say that was a penalty, but we do get a free kick on the line. And I decided to try and go with a driven free kick under the wall to see if I can pull that off once again. We step up forward, he jumps the wall, but he will block it off. And instead, we continue on in the game completely even. The 29th minute, we pass it to Johnson here, and uh, he will go inside with a few skill moves, try out a shot, and once again, we are denied, and we get the goal. A but we are offside in the end with Thierry Henry. He moved a little bit too far forward when I took the shot and no goal that time around. So we go into the second half. It's Johnson once again on the ball with a few skill moves. He'll make his way into the box. And you can probably guess what happens. He will save it once again. And at full time, we were completely even. He had one shot on target. I had seven, but I just couldn't convert any of my chances. So uh, we continue into extra time. Once again, my shots are saved. And into the second half of extra time, Johnson on the ball. He makes his way into the box with some skill moves here. And I just couldn't score. I couldn't get it past Jimmy Nielsen in the net. And in the end... 109th minute, he takes a shot from far out, I believe that was his second or third shot on target in the game, and it goes in, 
and I lose the game. I was just, I couldn't believe I lost that game because I really felt I kept him away from like the good chances to challenge my key binding in. It was just a shot from distance that went in and I get my third loss in this run once again. I just continue with losing games and it's just like I haven't been able to find that final edge as you can see we got only two wins we got three losses which of course is a little bit disappointing in my opinion I would like to get back onto onto a good winning streak hopefully we'll get there soon I'll promise you there is some good gameplay in this episode to come some really nice goals but for now yeah, we have to start over on a new run and see if we can pick up some more wins because, well, not looking too good. It's just like, is that final edge just getting the goals? Haven't really been working out for me lately. I don't know what it is, but hopefully we'll uh, turn things around. So we decided to play in the silver tournament, try out our new silver squad, and we come up against a 4-3-3 Syria A silver side. We get our first chance in the 28th minute. We turn the defender here out on the wing with El Abed and we find El Sharani. He'll hit it in off the post and make it 1 0. So a good start to the game and we continue on creating chances in the 34th minute. Murray's on the ball here. He'll manage to go with the ball, with drag back past the defender, find Claudemir, but we could not find the back of the net on the volley there. And another chance uh, is Wallison on the ball here, out on the wing, and uh, he will somehow go past quite a few defenders in the end to make his way into the box. But the shot is blocked in the end, and it comes to nothing. And there we go into the second half. He plays an over the top ball, and uh, he hit me on the counter attack there. My left back were nowhere to be found, and he makes it 1 1. And then in the 19th minute, this happens. He scores of a near post shot off the post, and I lose another game. I just couldn't believe I lost that game. And two losses in a row, it's just, as I said, it's not really going too well for me. But I still wanted to get some good gameplay for this episode. So instead of ending it off, I decided to play one more game and hope that I would get a really good goal to kind of turn things around and at least make this episode somewhat interesting or at least have a really nice goal. And uh, we're into the MLS tournament once again and uh, we get a goal here. But once again, we are offside. But then in the 12th minute, what I was waiting for happened. Win on the ball here, goes past the defender, he'll cross it in. Sanchez up in the air with the chest and then a bicycle kick into the bottom corner. Lovely goal there. And that was kind of the thing of just like, I just needed to score that kind of goal to kind of make me a little bit happy because I was kind of frustrated playing FIFA at that point in time, just losing my games. But finally, I could turn things around with a lovely goal there from Sanchez and... Uh, he was not done, Vincente Sanchez. He kept on going in this game. 18th minute, he's on the ball again. He's able to hang on to the ball, turn the defender with a scoop turn, take the shot on the edge of the box and make it a 2-0. So we get a comfortable lead, but then he takes a shot. He picks up the rebound and he'll make it 2-1. Couldn't really defend that one. And then he crossed it in to Di Natale, who he had substituted on. He'll head it in and make it 2-2, making me a little bit nervous, thinking... I'm not, I'm really going to lose that third game in a row, but straight from the kickoff, it's Thierry Henry on the ball, a little bit of a skill run, making his way into the box, but he will save my shot, but 81st minute, we break through with jo Johnson, and finally we actually get a rebound goal, which we just haven't been able to score, we've either been offside or hit it wide, so we get the lead, and Sanchez, he was going for his hat-trick in this game as well, he goes past two defenders out on the wing, takes on a third one, before he will get it over the line to make it forward to win us the game and finally a good game with some good goals and I hope you did enjoy the episode despite the somewhat slow start and uh, yeah as I said I'll try uh, try and get some better gameplay going find my game again and uh, get those cool goals but anyways that is going to be the end of the episode guys I hope you did enjoy it we'll be back again tomorrow with another episode and that's all thank you for watching and I will talk to you later <laughs>